Alex Pickett here. Welcome to the show. It's been a long time. Alex, how you doing, bud? I miss you. Guys. Happy you New Year. You, Janet was calling you, you vanilla earlier, and I don't think that's true. I, I think was you're not distinguished. Calling you I think vanilla. you've got this interesting White. sort of thing. You kind of you blend in, but that's your job, really. You but know you're really mean? a cool cat. Be, be like the, the fly on the wall. That's, that's, that's what I do. you. Exactly. Yeah, you got to be understated, yeah, but yet still fly. a little mysterious. Exactly. And that's what you roll. That's, that's me. See, vanilla ain't right. I just meant, it's I didn't right, mean it like, I said that you're just a normal looking guy who has these bizarre things that happen to you. normal. Like, like I'm here, some vanilla guy here to <laughs> amuse you? Exactly. You're just there to amuse us. Welcome to the show, Alex. Alex Happy New Year. I'm sorry. Just Haven't seen me. you in a long time. I know. It's been a long time. Talk to a us. A home issue. Yes, the home issue. It is uh, the first home issue that we've had, I think, ever. At, uh, I Creative think Open. ever. I really. Um, and it goes over all sorts of different things to, to deal with homes. People, um, we have a few essays. People who love their new home. People who hate their new home. Stuff on foreclosures. Um, we had our intern, Ben Fry, went on an urban tour of uh, all the condos and Channel Side and downtown. Uh, so some interesting stuff there. And then also staycations. What you can uh, do in town. Because sure. we all have no money. We can't go out and take a vacation. So what can you do inside the home? And I went to a hostel, Tampa's only hostel, in fact. Really? We have yeah, a hostel in Tampa? I didn't exactly. even know we had one. Where is it? don't know. It's in Tampa Heights. Okay, um, makes sense. Off of Ola. And it's, um, it's Tampa's only hostel. It's called Graham's Place. And it was brought by this guy, um, Mike Holland, who was a big Graham Parsons fan. You know, the old country rock <laughs> guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he went to Amsterdam one year and stayed at a hostel. And he came back and was like, I'd like to turn my house into a hostel. And you stayed there. Is it like a, how like, long? a bed, like a dormitory? Yep. That's what I most say. You can get a few private rooms. Most of them are dormitory style. It's, it's real. It's just like two converted cottages. And they, it's been around since uh, 91. And they've gotten people from all over the world. Like, it's really recognized outside of Tampa. Like, everybody outside of Tampa knows in different it. countries knows about it. But really, but should you don't. know about the hostels in your own hometown? It doesn't make sense, does it? Well, for this issue, if you want to take a staycation, feel like you're somewhere else, this is definitely And then you get to talk to people from all over the world. What a great exactly. idea. How much is it a night? It's, uh, it, it ranges from $23 to 43 Does it have a pool? Does it have room it service? Has, it has a little um, jacuzzi that's not heated. Uh, okay. Does it have a room service? <laughs> oh. No, no. Well, I mean, it's a room hostel. It's breakfast. like bare bones. You you go in, shared bathrooms, no breakfast in the morning, but you get to commune with all these really cool people from around the world. How and long do did they you hang stay out? there? Hold on a second. How long did you stay there? I just stay there a night, and on Thursday nights, it's the best if you're a local because they have open jams. And so you can see a whole bunch of local musicians come out, plus the people that are staying there use the Whatever house instruments and there's this Russian guy there that did this crazy keyboard opera thing and uh, some other people played some Dylan tunes go Rolling Stones that's no not thing. really but I'll go next th Thursday I guess I don't know I mean it's not, it, is it I a mean, place you really want to hang scene. out it, I, you could just go for on Thursday for the jams just kind of check it out and see the flavor of it you can bring your own beer I mean it's really kind of I went into it like oh god hostile you know the, the horror movie what am I you know what am I what am I get murdered into? yeah it's going to be one of those stories and it actually ended up being kind of very warming, and it has a nice backstory to it, too. Did you do the $23 deal or the $43 deal? Uh, the $25 deal. So I wasn't in the one with all the dormitories. It was just a, a small. There's only one other bed in there. But there's the private ones are the ones that are, that are upper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So. Well, so it was a good experience. It was. It was a good experience. And the people that were there, you, other than the they Russian guy? They weren't weird. Well, I mean, weird enough to make them interesting, but... Right, 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 of course, but not kind of freaky. They weren't vanilla. No, no. They weren't, they were, they weren't like homeless people from around town. They were like real people from outside. Did you area. make up a great story that you were from somewhere else, or did you just say you were from Tampa doing a story for the Creative Loafing? I, 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 I very carefully said that I was doing a story, but I said I was a local from Tampa. That was the whole, whole idea of the, the article. Ah, so. Okay. Oh, yeah, staycation, for yeah. sure. Well, then, did you give people recommendation on how they're supposed to communicate with these people not to be thrown out of the hostel by saying they're from Tampa? Is there, is there like a code words? Is there like a slang thing for no, hostels? No, no. I mean, they, they welcome locals if you want to come. Um, not for extended periods, uh, for <laughs> obvious reasons, because it's you know, cheaper than a motel. They don't want to get all sorts of unsavory characters. Right on. But, you know, they want people from the community to come out. And actually, the place is really good because as a backstory, the guy who started this, Mike Holland, who's, who's um, dead now, he chased off drug dealers. I mean, this was a really rough neighborhood before, and he helped really kind of turn around the neighborhood. 
And so they always invite community people in to say, you know, look oh, what we have awesome. here. Look at this landmark that we have. That's absolutely fantastic, and Alex. What a great cool. little gem. All sorts of boardwalks. It, it oh. look, there's a treehouse room. I mean, it's a really interesting place. A treehouse room. And yeah. if you want to find out all about it, Alex's uh, hostel Ventures, store, pick up the weekly edition of, Alex of Creative Loafing. But before we let you go, we want to talk about two things. How the Best of the Bay is coming along, and we want to hear some C&Ds for the weekend. Well, and did anybody nominate us for the best uh, webcast right in. in Tampa? I don't know that yet, but somebody ought to. Everybody ought to get you down. You do it. It's all, it's all di- I don't know if I can vote, actually. It's all digital. So you go online, tampa.creativeloafing.com. There's a big icon on there. Click Best of the Bay. And we have dozen, you know, dozens of categories and a little exit poll at the end, too. That's kind of fun. And you can so. also do a writing category somewhere on that site, which we'll send you a link to try to do that. So we we yeah. could just forward our link around. We should do that. We should we get will. involved. Get a whole not, thing yeah, going Everybody on, ought to. And it's the do deadline. deadline is August 13th. Oh, so we get hurry. on there now. Get I have a lot of fun. There's everything you can choose from. <laughs> now, what? it would tend to make sense that if we nominated ourselves for the best webcast in Tampa Bay, no other webcast is up against us. We have one vote. We you win. win? That's that's pretty. That's good. I, I, I if that's how it works out, then I guess yeah, you would win. What's going on this weekend? Well, that's kind of by default. I want to win like that. Uh, <laughs> on Friday at the Beach Theater, which I don't know if anybody's gone out to, but down on St. Pete Beach, wonderful place, one of the gyms of the area. Uh, they're having a Crosby, Stills and Nash and Young documentary that they're showing. It's the latest one when they did the tour. They're kind of anti-war tour and. It's a real, real lo- big look at the fans and that sort of thing rather than performances, so you shouldn't be bored by it. And then on Saturday, right here in Ybor City, is the uh, monthly art walk, but Square One is presenting their own slew of artists with all sorts of names that you'd recognize, uh, and that's out on 7th Avenue on Saturday, so you want to check Saturday that out Saturday night well. or Saturday afternoon? Sa- Saturday afternoon, one-ish. Which, one-ish, one-ish, downtown here. Yeah, because it's an art walk, so you, you mingle. You, you go there at a certain time, make sure you don't... Miss it. Thank okay. you, Alex. And it's for all over up and down 7th Avenue. Yeah. During the Is normal, it like the avant garde thing or something like that? Or the yeah, art yeah, after yeah. dark? No, it wouldn't no, be art no, after dark because it's during the day. Exactly. So that's not going to work. Thank okay. you, Alex. And for anything else that I, there's tons of things I'm sure Alex isn't yeah, thinking we, of, but Leilani Polk spends a lot of time researching things to do. So please pick up your weekly edition of Creative Loafing. It's good to see you, Alex. You Thank again. you for coming. I'm Thanks for Alex, man. I appreciate that, man. That whole hostel thing's kind of cool. It really, I mean, you really should go. I'm going to check it out. Are you kidding? I'm going to go next Thursday. All right. <laughs> For the band. You going? I'll meet you there. As I will meet you there. Done. Rob right. and I are going to take our next That's break fantastic. as soon as we Alex return. Alex and I are going to go hang out. Good. Rob, Rob and I are going to take our next I'm break. I'm telling you that I, I appreciate that. That's